Hey y'all, stick around to the end of this video. We got multiple different things going on here. We got some items going out to be shipped. We got some uh, how I take pictures. I got a little tour of the little eBay cave here. And at the very end, we have a little bit of shipping on video. So stick around and check out what you like and skip what you don't. Everybody, I figured before we showed you what's shipping out today, somebody sent Turner something in the mail because it was Turner's birthday. And I want to show it to you on video. So we're looking at it today and we're opening it up. So why don't we open it up? But first, before we do, let me tell them who it's from. This is from John at Nevermore Antiques. I reached out to John and told him I saw something on a video of his that uh, he had just purchased in his antique shop. And I said, John, I want those. And he said, okay. And I said, how much, how much, how much? And he wouldn't tell me, wouldn't tell me. And then it showed up at my door. And that's just kind of the guy that uh, John is. So we really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to John's channel, go out and check his channel out. I've been watching it for five months and it is rapidly one of my favorites. Oh my goodness, I thought it was Miles Morales. It's actually Turner. <laughs> All right, Turner Morales. Open that thing up, see what you got. Oh my goodness, look at that. Those are some Spider-Man comic books. And Turner, a little homeschool hustler here, has been learning how to read. He's a kindergartner, and he's been learning how to read. And look at all those that he sent you. He didn't just send you one, two, three, four, five, six different comic books. What do you think about that? Is that good stuff? Can you yeah. say thank you, John? Thank you, John. You know, when I was a kid, my mom and dad used to make me write thank you letters. And now we give thank you shout outs. So my has the world changed, huh? Yeah. All right. Say thank you. Say subscribe to Nevermore Antiques. Subscribe to Nevermore Antiques. Uh, all right. Hey, while you're here, Turner, tell us what went out here. So why don't you hold that up and I'll tell them. So that was sold out of the Homeschool Hustler store. And to be honest, I haven't looked to see if it's a viewer sale or not. I don't think it is. But it is three PS1 um, Grand Theft Auto games. And they're going out. They were, I think, $21 free ship somewhere around there. And we got them from the... Which, which hall was this? We got them from the unattended yard sale hall. So that's a pretty good little buy right there. And thank you again, John from Nevermore Antiques. We really appreciate you. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. This is Kevin and we have only sold a few things today and I might add them on to the end of this video. I might uh, just ship them out and, and not put it on there. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe we'll add it on to something tomorrow. But I thought I'd take a chance um, because it's so far a slow day. Now it's still early so hopefully we get a, like what happened yesterday, we'll get a bunch of sales uh, before it's time to ship. But I figured that I would take this opportunity and I would go ahead and show you a couple things that I do when I'm taking pictures of, of, of how I typically take, take pictures in here. And I'll show you my setup too. But before I do that, I wanted to, I wanted to do something that I had been forgetting to do for the last couple of days. Uh, Wilcox Resell is, was the winner of one of the giveaways. And he decided that he wanted to donate that back to another viewer. And so at some point we're going to do another giveaway for uh, $25 to spend in the Commonwealth Picker store or to spend in the Homeschool Hustler store. So thank you to Will Clox reseller. He's a, I believe, active military. So uh, thank you for your service as well. And he has a YouTube channel. You can check it out. And he does uh, yard sale videos like I do. So at any rate, thank you. And we'll put that back on there in sometime in the near future, I think. All right, so let's take a look first at my setup, and I'm going to turn this thing around and join you in a second. All right, so first of all, I have this little setup. So my picture-taking area and my shipping area are identical. So I don't have much space in this place. It's a pretty tiny little little spot we got here. I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, that's the end of it right there. And we got storage up here. You know, so we're not talking much space. I got some clothes hanging back here and some shipping supplies here and some more stuff back here so we're not talking much space here at all and i got a few things up there now you'll notice that light up there a little highlight and then a light that's coming from the side 
which will kind of counteract this one, which is pretty bright too, and that one back up there. Now we have this one that we can adjust as well. Um, we have these up here that kind of give downward angles. I like to have way too many lights. I usually don't use all these lights when I'm actually taking pictures. But um, more light is always better than less because you can always come up here and just click these off, especially when I'm doing clothing. Certain colors don't do well with too much direct light, and so we can bend these things back. Uh, these light bulbs, try to get the natural light bulbs, natural light light bulbs, um, instead of the, see how you can tell how bright that is, just compared to the old style. You can see that's almost orange. So, you know, these are the same bright white. So, uh, that's the way I like to do it. It does cast a few shadows because these lights aren't all equal and balanced, but you can kind of get them equal and balanced if you know you turn one off you tilt an angle this way and you end up with a picture that is going to have very few shadows now this one's got a couple shadows you'll notice underneath it um but that's only because i've got it propped up here because i plan on taking a picture like this angle to begin with um, i need to bring a little bit more light on this side to balance it out but you know what the way I figure pictures is they just need to be good enough. They don't need to be perfect. If you're spending twice as much time to get the perfect picture, to me, you're wasting time and losing money. Get a good enough picture and be done with it and move on. So I use this backdrop. Somebody asked about that the other day. This is just cheap. I think this costs like five bucks on eBay. Um, you know, you can see it's got particle board behind it that I've painted. So you could, uh, you know what, that's fine. To take the picture on something like that's no big deal. Something plain, put a sheet up, doesn't really make a difference, in my opinion. I just like the way that looks. It was the perfect size for the space that I have here. If you can tell, I have only so much space. And so it's perfect. Uh, I've got my little fridge down there too and some more shipping supplies. So that's my setup. And I'm just going to run through and take a few pictures and let you look at it while I do it. I'm going to take pictures of hat, hats, a few items I bought lately, some that you've seen at yard sales. And I'm just going to take a few pictures of those. And at the same time, I'm going to show you a little trick that I do with a couple items. And that is, as I'm taking pictures, like I will do this. I'll take a picture of this, and when I do, then I'll take a couple pictures at the end and I will lay this across it. I'll lay this across it and take a picture of it with it laid across it. I'll lay this this way. And then I'll put that on the scale over here. And I'll take a picture of the weight of it. Now this one, I, you know, to be honest with you, you can keep it under two pounds. So that's not really necessary. But I'm going to talk about that in a future shipping video. But I'm just going to show you right now that when I take pictures, because I do everything with my phone... I'm going to also snap pictures of the length of it and all of the measurements. And then I'm going to snap pictures of the weight because I don't list in here. I don't list in here. One, I'm in the basement. I don't have very good signal and I list everything on my phone. So, you know, you get bigger items. You know, you get an item like this right here, this picnic basket that, that I need to list. Or an item like these right here or maybe something like this or a phone um, something a little bigger. You want to have measurements because you're going to list this thing and some of these things are going to go calculated shipping. And I'll put that how I decide what's going to be calculated shipping and what's going to be flat rate shipping, what's going to be my flat rate, I mean, what's going to be free shipping. And if I know the weight of something, like I already know right now that this is going to be free shipping. So I'm not going to lay this on the scale and, and weigh it because I know how much this is going to ship, you know. At least I know, uh, you know, it's going to be somewhere in between, you know, 267 and 285 or whatever. It's, I have an idea what it's going to be, so I build it into the, to the shipping cost. And so I'm not going to weigh that and take a picture of it. I'm not going to weigh this and take a picture of it because I know roughly how much it's going to cost. Um, I'm probably not going to weigh this either, although I might because it looks like it may be, well, I doubt it's over two pounds. Um... But this is something I might weigh and I definitely wouldn't measure. So, all right, let's take a look as I do some of it. And I'll show you how I do some, some clothes as well.
All right, so just like I said, just when we filmed that little video just a second ago with uh, all the picture taken, we had, I think, four more items sell. We had, it's still a slow day, but um, we are gonna get the shipping done now, maybe come back a little bit later and do a little bit more. I like the kids to talk about those and they're already two baseballs went out to the same person which is really cool i love it love it when i sell these baseballs and i got this one at the lives in lynchburg i believe together since they're going to the same person they're going to ship out for 12 ounces and so five six seven eight dollars with expenses minus fees three eleven i'm going to make eleven dollars on these two baseballs and you can't break them in shipping i love them and i've sold tons i've sold almost a hundred of these so good deal actually i'm not going to see you next time